Welcome to my April 2019 bullet journal setup and I waste no time in this video and I get right into the setup. So um, a follower on Instagram suggested that I do a rain theme for April and that is so suiting because where I live in spring it's always raining and it rains a lot in April and it's cloudy so I thought this theme would be perfect. I didn't want to keep it so dark though so I added a little rainbow. I didn't want the rainbow to be very colorful because I felt like it would dilute the theme so I kept the colors very cool toned. Some grays, some purple, some blues. So I'm just adding in, you know, coloring in the raindrops, adding the rainbow and completing my front page for April. So because of the colors that I used in the rainbow, there was a lot of leak through onto the other page. So I skipped a page and on the next page I did my monthly overview. So I'm just adding the April calendar at the top left. And then I'm going to hand letter goals that I have for the month. And um, also in the top right, I'm going to add important to do's. And I found that leaving this layout simple is the best way to go for me because I don't end up using it that much. On the next page, I'm just adding my gratitude lock and I'm hand lettering the word gratitude. Um, I, re I got these new Tombow brush pens and I really like the way that it writes. It's very easy to hand letter with them. So anyways, on my gratitude log, I'm just writing out the dates and for each day, I put something I'm grateful for or a memory that I want to remember. And um, I've really been using my gratitude log in the past um, the past months and this is something I started in 2019 so I'm really excited to continue using this spread. I'm also just adding some clouds and you know rain raindrops to go along with the theme of April and I found that adding like the raindrops and the clouds on each page just really pulled the theme together for me.
Next is my habit tracker and I do love using my habit tracker because it really does help me achieve monthly goals and you know keep in track with the habits that I want to track. So anyways, um, last month I think I did 10 habits which was way too much to track so this month I'm going to focus on 7 things that I really want to track and use those. Um, I also added a really cute um, section at the bottom which was books I've read and shows that I want to watch and this was because um, sometimes like I read really good books and I watch really good shows and then I can't remember like what happened or what they were called so I think this is going to really help me keep track and also give recommendations to others. I'm also adding a cute little rainbow in the top right and some clouds. Um, and also see me referring back to my old habit tracker to see the habits that I tracked last month. On the next page, I am creating my mood tracker. And I love my mood tracker because it helps me keep tracks of how I'm feeling. And then I can refer back to, you know, that day and see like what impacted my mood that day. Why was I so happy or why was I so down? Um, and for this month, the mood tracker I'm going to be tracking is going to be using raindrops aligned with the April theme. And I'm going to be tracking more moods because I always do like four, like, okay, happy, sad, angry, or anxious. And I think that it doesn't give me enough. And I won't be able to, you know, um, collect more emotions or track more emotions. So I'm going to be using some more terms in this month in April.
I was so excited for this month's weekly journal because I decided to do Dutch doors and um, I don't know how to explain them but it's uh, like a little panel that um, gives you some extra space in the pages um, so as you can see I cut it out here and what I'm adding to my Dutch doors is the calendar because I find it annoying to have it at the top left like I think this layout is so much more better and cuter and it leaves me some extra room to put some important notes on this page as well so this is just my weekly card so I'm adding you know a cute little Dutch door and then continuing with the rest of the days of the week and April 1st is just um it was a Monday which is really great because it just really sets a great weekly layout for the rest of the month So on the other side of the Dutch doors, I have ideas, goals, and important to-dos, and I really like separating that into the weekly layout as opposed to having that in the monthly overview because week to week, you know, um, your goals can change or you can update them. So I think it's really important to have that in the weekly layout as well, which is why I think the Dutch doors really help me accomplish what I'm looking for this month. So... I really just love this layout and I also like the way that I did my um, lettering for the weekdays um, last month so that I'm using the same format formatting this month. And to finish off my weekly log, I'm adding an inspirational quote in the bottom where I have a little bit of room and I'm adding it's the little things in life. I'm also putting that with the cute little travel pack sticker. Um, I'll leave everything that I got in the description below, but I love ordering stickers from Wish because they have like really cute packs that it does take a long time to come, but they're really cute. that wraps up april's bullet journal thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe to this channel if you do enjoy content like this and you can also follow me on instagram twitter all the links are in the description below